this game with its app has what feels like a really immersive experience. To me, this is app integration done right. Right. Uh, for board games. Like, honestly, it just is. This is an app driven game. The app is required and it does quite a bit. Now, this enhances the story greatly. I'm going to say that I am for it if it's done well, and I think it is done well in this. Now, the app that I'm using is a prototype, so it's still some kinks being worked out. But what it does, it does very well, which is make uh, make all of your actions nice and easy. The app that drives this game is basically a GM or a DM for the game. It's nice to not flip through pages. I think we've all played enough narrative games at this point to know that it's like flip to, you know, C105 and flip to C105 and you read about a paragraph and it says, uh, what do you want to do? Oh, I want to continue on? Okay, then go to um, F26-A and so then you're flipping back over to F26 and you're going back and forth, back and forth, to the point where you think, couldn't they have just laid this in order? Any actions that have any specific uh, requirements, it'll tell you on that. You don't have to keep those things in mind. It'll tell you when the guards are moving around, especially, I love that. I hate keeping track of enemy AI in these games. It does feel like playing like an RPG type game because your GM slash the app um, interrupts you and is like, all right, a fight just broke out over here. If you're in that area, you're gonna have to deal with it. The app really does aid everything you're doing again it but it does not distract from the main purpose of the game it just adds to it it's like having your own pocket dm leading you through the adventure the world is constantly changing and the app is controlling all of that for you it's keeping track of that in the background it's it's stuff that's done in the background that is important to your game i think that is the exact like perfect way to to use an app for a game like this the app itself is way more advanced. At the current prototype stage, the app is already, I guess, one of the best we have ever seen in board games. It's super clean, very intuitive, user-friendly, and stable. It's shocking how living this small town was. All the time, you can feel it's still a board game, and the app here is only to greatly enhance the experience. I feel that what I'm doing on a map and, and having all these things kind of like you open up one area and all these things appear. Yeah. And you're like, oh, that's exciting. Okay, let me go here. And then all these other things appear. Yeah. And you get a little box and you unlock it and all these things happen. Yeah. Like, <laughs> It's so rewarding. It's just, that's amazing. Like this is how these yeah. types of games should be. It knows what the actions are. You say, I want to do that action. And then it gives you some story, presents you with a skill check maybe, and it'll tell you what the values of the skill check are. And then you just tell you how much successes, how many successes you earned or whatever. And it gives you the results. I think that's just a nice, easy way of streamlining that. So I think the app is done very, very well. It's just interesting that the world continues moving as you're playing through it. This is like an adventure RPG. A lot of interesting things going on here. I think the story, like I said, it's very dark, it's very grim, but it's very much Kingdom Come yeah. uh, deliverance. I think that the people who like historical settings are really gonna dig this and and, tr and really uh, appreciate how you know realistic it's trying to be. The narrative is so rich here that I wanna actually listen to the story. I know. And the voice acting is really good. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping they, they flesh that out even more for, for launch because like that's that really sucks you into this yeah. whole setting i can't find words for how dense and immersive both the atmosphere and work created in this game are narration and writing is amazing as well the thing that really shines for me in this game is the choose your own adventure aspect along with the story driven it's incredibly again i know i've said it but so immersive the story just sucked me in wholeheartedly it, it, it's very much focused on realistic medieval times so there's no magic system or anything like that that you're going to see there's no giant shoulder pads people riding dragons there's no dragons none of that kind of stuff this is a mature storytelling and that makes it to me more engaging than goblins pillaging the village it is very much medieval world 
in every sense of the word there and they're not shying away from any of the subjects that that entails whether it's religion whether it's violence whether it's misogyny whether it's anything all of that is present here this game is one of the most interesting story driven games i've played in the last few months kingdom come deliverance has a perfect balance between interesting gameplay and interesting story the story is interesting it's very realistic and this is what i really love Something to keep in mind is that this is a living world, which means that the game might interrupt and let you know something is happening in a certain spot on the map. Every description and every dialogue has a full voiceover with climatic music and plenty of sounds imitating medieval town. If there's a burning building, you hear the crackling of the wood as you're going through it. Stuff like that's very, very neat. So I actually really did appreciate that. And it elevates the story quite a bit. It makes it a lot more thematic. There was some neat voice acting. Um, there was music and sounds that went with everything else. Professional voice actors that sound great, a variety of voice actors, so people sound different with the music and the uh, the, the sound effects, stuff like that. Very professional voice acting, a variety of different voices, reacting to the things that you do within the construct of what it allows you to do. So every choice you make, it reacts to. Even if you know nothing about Kingdom Come Deliverance, like me, you come in totally blind, I think there's something here for you if you just want a cool, you know, narrative story game that you can play with friends or by yourself and not have a ton of upkeep and a ton of fiddliness to go by. If you like the idea of a tabletop RPG, but you don't want to role play yourself and you can't find a, or, or know or trust or pay a dungeon master or a game master to run a game for you and set all that up, the app does it. This is essentially a DM-less tabletop RPG experience. I can't wait to play more and to come back to this world over and over. If you are looking for a historically based campaign game uh, with a really solid app and a very strong sense of player agency, absolutely check out Kingdom Come Deliverance. For me, like this really hits home for me and it's, a, it's, it's what I was hoping it would be. Awesome.